Hey, you, in the trash, do you want to learn to dodge bullets like Neo in the Matrix? Where the bullets were flying and he was like, whoa, and dodged them? Yeah, I want to teach you how to do that in The Last of Us Factions. So I'm going to give you a choice. You can either take the red poop and join me, or you can take the blue poop and, well, Either way, if your poop is either one of these colors, you may want to see it. an actual doctor. Dr. Poop Love here, and today I want to give you 20 tips to help you dodge bullets and become a harder target in The Last of Us Factions. And if you want to see more videos like this, then why don't you hit that like button so we can spread the poop love around the world. But let's get into it. My first tip for you is to use cover. As you traverse the map, you should always be aware of what cover is around you. It's important because you can then use this cover to jump behind when an enemy starts firing at you. These maps are designed by Naughty Dog in such a way as to almost always have at least one piece of cover nearby. And you should always have in the back of your mind which cover is closest and if someone were to fire at me right now, I'm gonna jump behind this or I'm gonna jump behind that. Doing this can save you when things get messy. And once you get into cover, it's important to be able to use that cover smartly. And that is by using it to conceal yourself when aiming and shooting at an enemy. You can corner shoot, which is basically firing at an angle with cover concealing part of your body and you aiming just outside the edge of it, you can pop shoot, which is popping in and out of cover very quickly and firing while popping out. And you can also do what's called a head glitch. And this is a spot in the map where you are able to aim, but only your head is exposed to the enemy. And this can be a very tough spot for the enemy to hit as they have to get a very precise headshot on you. And you should try to mix up your location so that you're not always popping out in the same space. That way the enemy can't predict and hard scope on you. Speaking of pop shooting, you should pop shoot the air. Look what happens when an enemy is aiming in and out when there is no cover. If you're exposed out in the open, occasionally it might make sense to pop shoot. Shoot, weave, duck and weave, shoot, shoot, some kind of combination of that can be very effective for throwing the enemy off. Tip number seven is to use the wiggles. When engaged in a firefight, you should wiggle back and forth when someone is firing at you to become a harder target. Doing this will throw the enemy off and set yourself up so you can fire back. Here's a technique I like to use that incorporates a little bit of the wiggles and I call it the sidestep. What you do is when engaged in a firefight, you run quickly to one side, but then stop and fire back. This has helped me win a lot of firefights. Another tip is to keep your finger near the sprint button. When playing with the controller, obviously you should have your fingers near the triggers and always be prepared to fire as well, but you should always be ready to switch to that sprint button and hightail it out of there or get to the wiggles. If you're not ready for it, then your reaction time is gonna be too slow and they're gonna get you. My next tip is to become a pole dancer. Uh, well that, that, that came out wrong. But what I'm talking about are these poles, like this one on checkpoint. It's like literally an indefensible shield. If you dance in between them while someone is trying to hit you, it becomes nearly impossible to hit this target because I think the way that the pull and the aim assist to your body interplay, it just really, really throws someone off. My next tip for you is to use the duck shot. When engaged in a firefight, duck partway through to throw the enemy off and make it harder for them to hit you. Speaking of ducks, you should be occasionally ducking when you are walking throughout the map and traversing throughout the map, especially when going through more exposed areas. You should always be aware that someone may have their sights on you, and so you should occasionally duck and occasionally even zigzag. Don't just walk in a straight line all the time, just to be sure that if someone has their sights on you, that they're gonna have a hard time and they can miss you. My next tip for you is to strafe. 
Strafing can really help you throw the enemy off. When aiming, move your character back and forth with the left thumbstick so that your character is slightly walking side to side. It just makes you just that little bit harder to hit. Also, while firing, you should throw in occasional shoulder switches. While engaged in a firefight, switch your shoulders partway through, which can really throw the enemy off as they're trying to hit you. My next step for you is to vault. There's nothing harder to hit than a vaulting target. Doing this can especially throw someone off as they're trying to set their sights on you because they're aimed in one direction and you quickly jump to the next. This can cause people to miss a lot of bullets. Another thing I don't think a lot of people think about is you can manipulate the enemy's camera, which by result will make them have a harder time aiming and hitting you. Something as simple as just jumping to a different elevation can make the enemy have a hard time moving their sights back onto you or getting really close and running circles or running around an enemy can give them such a hard time getting their camera to focus on you so they can even aim and hit you. Next, you should try to stagger the enemy. A great way to dodge bullets is to already be pumping bullets into the enemy in a way that staggers them and makes it so hard for them to aim. The variable and enforcer are great weapons for this because they have fast fire rates. My next tip is you should work on your reaction time. That's a little bit easier said than done, but when playing, just try to be extra focused and hyper aware of your surroundings so that if anything happens, if bullets start flying, you are ready to react as soon as possible. Being able to quickly react and use some of these tips is really gonna help you get out of a bind. And then of course, there are some perks that are really gonna help you dodge bullets just a little bit more. You have agility, which helps you move just that little bit quicker Marathon Runner gives you a little bit more stamina when vaulting or doing the wiggles. Awareness is also good in that it just helps you see the enemy just that slight second quicker so you can start your dodging movements just a little bit quicker. And then the killer tip is that you need to start putting all of these tips into practice and using them in your bag of tricks. When you have all of these different tricks at your disposal, you have so many different options from which to choose where you can now start trying to dodge bullets. And if you're very good at mixing them up and being unpredictable, you're gonna have enemies just wasting bullets flying all over the map and not hitting you. And of course, being able to dodge bullets is only gonna be so helpful if you can't follow it up with some good aim. And so this video right here 10 tips to improve your aim is really gonna help give you some rules to live by while playing factions. And honestly, if you put these tips in combination with those, you're gonna become an unstoppable tryhard. So what are you waiting for? Put all these tips into practice and let me know in the comments how they work out for you. But otherwise, so long, pooper troopers.